Today is day 48 of learning Python. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get the time and how you can structure the time. The first thing we need to do is import time. The time library is installed with Python by default, so you don't need to download that separately. Next, we're going to set a variable called current time equal to time dot local time. The local time function gets the time in your time zone. When we print current time, you notice it's not structured the way we want it to be. In order to fix this, we're going to use the string from time function. The way we do this is by setting current time equal to time dot strf time. And then in the parentheses, we put the format we want comma current time for this example the time is going to be structured with the date and it's going to read year month day hour minute seconds so when we run the code you see we get april 19th 2023 at 22 hours 12 minutes and 53 seconds here's a list of commonly used data points while structuring the time in my opinion the most important ones are year month day hour minutes and seconds to show you how this works i'll add the full month name at the end of the string all i need to do is add percent capital b and when i run the code you see it adds april like and subscribe for more python videos